Over on the election campaign is fairly similar uh, to previous ones. That is, it's extremely lively. There's a lot of um, street life. Uh, there's constant campaigning in the streets. People uh, hanging around um, around red tents, handing out leaflets, playing music loudly. The the main differences between this present this campaign this year compared to the last few years. Um, is a greater youth involvement, um, which perhaps is a result of the creation of the, the youth of the PSUV, but also just the relevance of the revolution to the youth and, and uh, the energy that the revolution has. Um, and also the, the insecurity that we're feeling this time around over whether the opposition will accept the results. In the past, it was, it was fairly it was fairly certain that they would accept them, whereas this year round they, they haven't said um, unequivocally that they'll accept them and plans have come out that, that they are making to to disrupt the elections so that they can declare fraud on that day. Whether or not they'll, they'll do that, we, we can't be sure, but there's a sort of, there's a feeling that they might do it this year. Um, so the other new thing that we have that we, we didn't have in previous elections is the Polo Patriotico, the, the organisation that unites all the different movements, uh, women's movements, gay movements, uh, workers' movements, all around the country, um, which support Chavez. Uh, that's a new grouping and um, they will be out on force on Sunday trying to protect the voting booth um, and trying to ensure that the voting process is smooth and, and peaceful and um, that the results are respected. Chavez has been campaigning on, on basically maintaining and deepening the revolution. Uh, he's emphasised the achievements of the revolution over the last uh, 13 to 14 years the social missions, the movements, uh, participation, and so on. Capriles campaign has been quite uh, superficial and, and empty, um, and it's mostly been based on, on a false discourse that sort of is an imitation of, of Chavez. I think he realizes that the support that Chavez has had and he's caught between um, trying to be anti-Chavez, but also imitate Chavez um, to get the, to try to uh, steal some of that support. So he's been talking about supporting the missions, even though that's not his intention at all. Um, and he's also been campaigning on some of the weaknesses of the revolution, which is um, which people feel is the, the issue of security and crime. Um, and then other things that people blame on Chavez, even though there's not necessarily a basis for that, such as the the power failures or the supposed shortage of, of food. Well, since Chavez uh, came to government in 1998, poverty has been reduced from around 70% to 25%, and extreme poverty has been reduced from 25% to, I think, it's 6%. Um, so those statistics reflect an enormous um, change in the, in, the, in the reality, in the daily reality for the majority of Venezuelans. All, Vene all Venezuelans who support the revolution recognise that, that those poverty statistics have to be reduced to zero, but at the same time, um, a very significant progress has been made. Um, obviously, in health, people now have easy access to health. Um, and the life expectancy has gone up, so I can't remember the exact numbers. Um, literacy was declared a few years um, into the revolution, complete literacy. So people, and the, the literacy rates in Venezuela are now higher than those in the United States. Um, and possibly one of the most important gains has been the, the political involvement of the people. That is, the people now are a lot more aware of their country's history, their country's laws, um, and their own rights and responsibilities um, in relation to their country. Um, and they're, they're a means for them to express their opinion and to be involved in the solution to the problems that they're affected by.
um, not just through the communal councils, the, the community organisations, but also through the, the explosion in uh, alternative and community media, um, in radio, television stations, print media, online websites, um, and through the explosion in general organize, uh, movement organisations. The closing campaign rally here in Caracas on Sunday for Capitalis was enormous. Um, and likewise, the, the campaign, the, the rallies when Chavez has been touring the different states have also been enormous. Um, the, the big difference between the two sides is that no one has been participating in the daily campaigning for Capitalism. Uh, that they have had no daily street presence. And the few people that we've seen on the street have been people that are being paid by Capitalist to sell t-shirts um, and to hand out propaganda, and they have nowhere near the same sort of energy and enthusiasm as, as the hundreds of people you see in any city that are on the street. On, you, you will have 50 people on one street corner campaigning for Chavez to loud music, dancing, um, and excitedly handing out leaflets to, to passers-by, to people in their cars. And I think that's the main difference rather than the, the concentration turnouts, which have, have been big on both sides. 